out to a story that we've been tracking for months. Youth violence is on the rise across the nation and right here in Northeast Ohio. We talk about it way too much here. We're talking physical fights, threats of violence at schools and guns. This year, there's already been a series of headlines involving young victims and suspects. A 13 year old stabbed at an elementary school, a 14 year old shot and killed by a 15 year old. And just earlier this month, Six students arrested and four loaded handguns recovered after a fight outside of Euclid High School. So tomorrow, there is a major push to reduce this issue. Yeah, there's a Stop the Violence campaign rally at Glenville High School. It's going to have workshops from anger management to recovering from loss. Our Tanisha Cordell is in the studio with us here this morning. Tanisha, this rally is specifically training students in conflict mediation. Absolutely. You know, it starts with our youth, right? But our community as a whole, those students, as we mentioned, are being trained as early as fourth grade. The program is called WAVE. Winning Against Violent Environments. It's been a part of the Cleveland Metro School District since 1982. And we caught up with one of the current team members. He grew up in that same program and continues to pass on that knowledge to future generations. Since the fourth grade. I went to Martin Luther King High School where I was a student mediator and a student trainer. That's how I got this job when I graduated high school. Antonio Sanford and a group of his peers knew one thing. Conflict is normal and natural. It's a part of life. It just is. It's always going to be there. And violence itself is a learned behavior. You don't see babies duking it out in the nursery. But violence can be unlearned, even despite outside factors and personal circumstances. It's why WAVE is teaching conflict resolution through peer student mediation from fourth to 12th grade. We talk about interpersonal conflict, intrapersonal conflict. We talk about how and why conflicts escalate and the feelings that's involved with it and how to deal with your feelings. Some people just don't have that mechanism to be able to talk out their problems because sometimes it's just that, it's just that release. It's just to say, you know, I'm feeling really angry today or I'm feeling, you know, sorry today or anything like that. What can the both of you do together? To better understand how this works, we asked for a mock mediation. You said you wanted her to communicate better about what she wants to do. Here, conflict resolution is done in waves, six to be exact. So whatever is said in here stays in here. The first is the introduction. Second, telling the story, each person's side of the conflict. Third, understanding the problem. Fourth, alternative search, discussing those solutions. Fifth, resolution which requires a contract agreement and finally departure like yo you put it down like antonio jacelyn martinez is growing up in wave the denison eighth grader was first trained by sanford in fifth grade i was really introverted and i only had like two friends looking back she's grateful for growth I can articulate my feelings better and I like helping people around me. It just, it feels better to know that our school environment is just like better without all the conflict. This is great. I'm glad this really helps you. Yeah. One step in the right direction. Now, WAVE trainings are three days a week. Students interested can, of course, sign up at school. Parents, staff, you can take advantage and get involved as well. That's what tomorrow's Stop the Violence rally is all about. Everyone coming together to create that change, better our schools and the community. That event is free, but you must pre-register. Mike, Danita, I mean, so happy to see this going on, and I'm so happy our youth are really taking initiative. And you know what? Seeing that girl talk on camera being that she was so introverted, that's a big step as well coming out of her shell. Such a great event. Thank you, Tanita.